You know, I first came to Kemalo to see the lightning fields with a friend from the Art Institute. <laughs> yeah, she hated the desert. Hated it. Said that if she survived, she would never again go any further west than O'Hare. But I loved everything about this place. The land, the light, the quiet. Even the isolation. I had never felt so at home. You know, Clayton says that one of our tasks in life is finding where we belong. And I had. So when I got back to Chicago, I, um, I quit my job at the Institute. I sold everything and came back to stay. <laughs> Two days after I bought this place, I found Clayton on the front porch with a six pack of beer. Now I had never met him. You know, I had seen him around town and I knew he was my neighbor. You must enjoy your own company, he said to me, moving out to the middle of nowhere all alone. Well, I told him. I guess that's what I came here to find out. Mm, he gave me that sly smile, and I made dinner, and that was it. Clayton and Joe Parker are regulars of the cafe. They like to come in after the lunch crowd. Crowd being a relative word in a town with less than 200 souls. I still call it the cafe. And that's how it started. You know, but I was going broke fast selling Migas and coffee, so I had to switch gears. Now we're a used bookstore good food and some vintage home things. Yeah, most of my sales are to the Lightning Field people. You know, a couple days out of that house and a lot of them have read everything they brought. Clayton thinks my used books are his private library. He'll find a book on the shelf that he likes, take it home, and then return it when he's finished. And then him and Joe will sit at the counter and argue about it. Oh, but when Clayton finds a book that he thinks is just too awful to be on the shelf, it'll disappear. Last week, I found the bridges of Madison County in the recycling bin. <laughs> but you didn't ask me why I came to Kemalo, did you? No, you asked why the word bitch was spray-painted on the front window of the cafe. Well... As Clayton would say. Any story worth telling is worth starting at the beginning. <laughs>